I'm standing in the middle of one of the Allen's farms, 75 acres of a wheat crop, 75 acres that have been watered with the last remaining water allocated. And right over here is another 75 acres of what's supposed to be a wheat crop. But without water, there are no crops. Weather experts say it will take 38 centimeters of rain to relieve this drought-stricken region. Only a third of that precipitation is expected. Many state reservoir levels are 40% capacity, some even more. In fact, I'm standing in the middle of one right now. This is where the fertilization process begins. Under this powerful microscope, let me show you how. This tool right here, that's used to inject a single sperm into the egg. It's produced by cooling natural gas at negative 259 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 157 degrees Celsius. The end byproduct is a colorless, odorless, non-toxic, non-corrosive hydrocarbon. So if there's ever an accidental spill, there's no cleanup. It simply vaporizes. The only byproduct of our spill, ice. And I'm going to show you just how non-toxic it is. We mixed liquid natural gas with water, let it cool, and consumed it. Bottoms up. We're about 10 stories above the Ivanpah solar power plant, so it's a bit windy up here, but we wanted to show you just how expensive it is. On to the retina. It's a small series of electrodes that are as thin and delicate as saran wrap. Cause the balloon to dent and dip, briefly brushing the ground. Organizers fear it may have suffered a microscopic tear because the material is just one-tenth the thickness of plastic, ultra-thin. Not wanting to launch a faulty aircraft, organizers aborted the mission. So this one giant leap for a man took a small step backwards for science, at least until the next attempt this Thursday. Yakenda McGehee, CCTV, Roswell, New Mexico.